All right, so we're now going to have a look at how we can do some handwriting looking specifically at our curly caterpillar letters. Now, the first thing that you have to check before you attempt to do any of your curly caterpillar letters is that you have practiced some of your handwriting shapes. So the handwriting shape that you're going to need today is this one. A circle. Now you will notice that I'm starting my circle at the very top and I'm going round the back to join it up again. Now lots of people often ask me, why do you always make sure that the children start their circles at the top and go round the back or go anti-clockwise? Why can't you just let them do them this way, start at the bottom? No, 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 no. We're not allowed to do circles like that, especially when we're getting ready for our handwriting. And the reason is, is because we are training our hand and our brain to remember the correct way round that we need to go for when we're going to start forming our letters. So let's have a practice. With your finger, can you have a go at starting at the top? And we're going to go round the back, we're going to go anti-clockwise to join the circle back up. So starting at the top, going round the back and joining the circle back up. Let's do it one more time. Starting at the top, round the back and joining the circle back up. So our circle always goes anti-clockwise. So that's the first thing that I want you to check. Can you go away and have a go at creating some circles? You can do them on a whiteboard like me, or you can do them on some paper, or you can do it with paint, or you can do it in salt or sand, and have a go at creating a circle that starts at the top and goes anti-clockwise. Starting at the top, going anti-clockwise. Starting at the top and going anti-clockwise. So that's the letter pattern that we need to master before we can attempt to write some of our curly caterpillar letters. So see if you can have a go at creating a whole page or a whole board or a whole sand or salt box of these lovely anti-clockwise circles. I think that looks quite bubbly. I like that. There we go. So I formed all of my circles starting at the top and we're going to go round in an anti-clockwise way. Okay, now I'm going to show you why it's so important that we go round in an anti-clockwise way and not any old way. And the reason is, is because after we've learned how to do that handwriting shape, we're going to start to write some of our letters. Now, we've already learnt to write one letter. That's a circle, but it's also the letter O, which makes the sound O. Oh. So we've already learnt how to write one letter. O. Oh. O. Oh. O. Oh. And if we can write a letter O, then we can also write the letter C. Because all it is, is we're going to start at the top like we do for our circle. We're going to go anti-clockwise round and we're going to stop at the bottom. And now we've made the letter C, which makes the sound K. So let's have a go at doing that together. Get your finger out. I want to have a go and see if you can copy it with me. Starting at the top, we're going to go round the back anti-clockwise and finishing at the bottom. And again, starting at the top, going round the back in an anti-clockwise way. Now, you will notice that I am using two hands for my handwriting. One hand is holding my pen, I'm using three fingers. I'm tucking the other two away. So I'm using three fingers to hold my pen correctly. But I've also got this other hand. And this hand isn't just flapping around, doing anything. It's got a really important job, it's holding my board so it stays still. If I try and do my handwriting with just one hand, what happens is that my board might move around and then my handwriting doesn't look so neat. 
So I need to make sure that whenever I'm doing my handwriting, I'm using both of my hands. I've got one hand holding my board or my paper or my tray, and my other hand holding my pen correctly using three fingers, tucking the other two away. Let's have a go at RC again. Starting at the top, going round anti-clockwise, and finishing at the bottom. K, 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 k. So we can now write the letter O, we can now write the letter C. If we can write the letter C, then we can most definitely write the letter A. I'm going to show you this trick. So, this is why we always go anti-clockwise. We're starting at the top again. We're going to go round anti-clockwise to make our C. But we're not going to stop there. We're now going to go straight up, straight down, and flick. So if we can write a C, we can always write an A. Let's have a go again. Go round anti-clockwise. We're going to go straight up, straight down, and flick. Don't do it with me. Get your finger out. We're going to go round anti-clockwise, straight up, straight down, little flick. Let's try again. Round anti-clockwise, straight up, straight down, flick. And again, round anti-clockwise, straight up, straight down, flick. Okay, now we've learned how to write the letter O, we've learned how to write the letter C, we've learned how to write the letter A. If we can write an O, we can write a C. If we can write a C, we can write an A. And if you can write an A, you most definitely can write a D. Because all we do is we're going to go round the back again. We're going to go up like the A, but this time because D is for dinosaur, we're going to go up even further because he's got a really tall neck. And then we're going to go down the same line and give him a little flick. So I've written the letter D, which makes the sound D. Let's have a go again. Round the back. Up like an A, but I'm going to keep going up for, d for dinosaur, all the way down, flick, and again, round the back, up like an A, but all the way up for, d for dinosaur, all the way down, and flick. Fantastic. So we can write now the letter O, C, A, and D, all by using the handwriting pattern of starting at the top, going round the back and joining it together. Okay, so what I would like you to have a go at doing now is practicing your handwriting pattern of doing lots of circles. You can do those on a whiteboard, on a chalkboard, you can do it on paper, you can do it with pen, you can do it with um, paint. You might want to do it in salt or in a sandbox or even on Play-Doh. Have a go at practicing that one first and making sure that you're always going anti-clockwise because that way you're going to make sure that you do your other letters the correct way around. Once you've done that, then you can move on to writing the letters C, A and D. Again, you can do it on a whiteboard, chalkboard, on some paper, you can do it with pen, you can do it with paint, you can do it on sand, you can do it in salt, you can do it on Play-Doh. But the most important thing that I would like you to do is to practice the handwriting pattern of starting at the top going round in an anti-clockwise way, okay? Right, I hope you enjoy your activity.